Hi fellow crafters! Today I have another easy technique to share using the Layered Florals 3D embossing folder. This is a gorgeous one. If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, Hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Speaking of videos, be sure to watch all the way through this video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, and you would like to order some of the products I use to make this beautiful card, I will link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get going on this super cool idea. First, let's have a look at this beautiful embossing folder. Each flower in it will create depth and movement to any card, scrapbook page, gift tag, or any kind of other paper craft that you can come up with. You can go for a monochromatic look using just black or white paper, or you can use your favorite jewel tone paper to make a flower moment that pops right off the page. What we're going to do is use this folder to create stunning card front elements. So let's start off with that. I have a piece of basic white cardstock, and I'm actually going to emboss this entire piece. It's exactly the same size as the folder because I'm not sure which flowers on here I want to use. So I'll go ahead and go over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'll emboss this, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. And there we go, look at that. Oh, I just love the flowers on here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a scrap piece of grid paper because I'm going to use my blending brushes to color the flowers on this embossed layer. I'm gonna start off with Daffodil Delight and I'm going to use my small blending brush and you're gonna see why in a minute. You don't wanna use the big one on this project. So I'm going to ink up my blending brush and I am basically going to color mostly just the center of the large flowers in this embossing folder or this embossed layer. The next thing I want to do is bring in Boho Blue and another small blending brush. And I'm going to color the smaller flowers that have been embossed on this layer. And there we go, I've got the flowers colored. Now what I want to do is take my paper snips and I want to cut out the flowers. Now this is something very unusual for an embossing folder, but you'll see why we're going to cut them out in a minute. All right, I have most of the flowers cut out. I still have a few more, but I'm going to save them for another project down the road. But you can get the idea of what this looks like when you cut out the flowers. Now, let's create a beautiful card base to attach these flowers to. My card base is going to be basic white, and I'm going to put it in portrait mode. And to that, I'm going to add a piece of the In Color Designer Series paper that's boho blue. And I want to adhere this entire sheet onto the card front using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I'm going to slide this out of the way and let it dry for a minute. And while it's doing that, I'm going to bring in my Scallop Contours dies and I'm going to use these two smallest dies in the pack, and I'm going to die cut a frame out of a scrap piece of basic white. So I'm going to lay this first die, or the largest die on, and then I'm going to put the smallest die inside of it. 
And then I'm going to use some washi tape. This is old retired washi tape to hold these dies in place so that they don't slip when I'm running it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here is the frame that I want to use on the front of my card. And I will keep this smaller piece, well, maybe not now, because my washi tape pulled a piece of it off. But um, I might use this on another project, but for now, I want to use the frame, and I'm going to put it on the front of the card like this. But before I do that, I want to bring in the smaller frame, and I'm going to open up my card like so, and I want to die cut a window out of the front of my card. So I'll just lightly reuse the washi tape. I'll head over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I will die cut a window out of the front of my card. Back in a moment. And there we go, I have my window die cut out of the front of my card. Now before I do anything else on the card front, I want to stamp a phrase and I've decided to make this a wedding card using the Something Fancy stamp set. And I've got this phrase, here's to beautiful beginnings and happily ever afters. And I'm going to ink it up and stamp it down using Boho Blue. There we go, I've got that done. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in the frame that I die cut, and I want to adhere that to the card front using my multi-purpose liquid glue. And now it's time to decorate the card using the flowers that we created from the embossing folder. So I'm going to attach these three flowers using some of my Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, isn't that gorgeous? Would you like to see another card idea using the Layered Florals 3D embossing folder? Well, if you would, then why not watch this video next? Now, the final thing I have are these three little flowers, and I'm not sure quite how I'm going to use them, but I think what I'll do is put at least a couple on the outside of the card and maybe one on the inside. Back in a moment. All right, I decided in the end to put one on the outside and then this little one on the inside that is hidden when the card is closed. And now it's time to talk embellishments. And I've chosen to add some pearls because I think that adds a beautiful final touch to a wedding card idea. And there we go, my card is done and I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out. It is amazing what you can do with this embossing folder, isn't it? If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. You can link over there and you can get all the information you need, plus the product ordering numbers in case you want to order these products so that you can make this card at home too. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.